This woman forced the boy to write a breakup letter. She told him to stay away from her daughter. And from now on they don't contact each other anymore. After James was shot that day. Luckily, he didn't die. But unfortunately, he was left disabled. And he might never be able to stand again. Then Elisa's mother found James. She forced him to do so. James finally chose to compromise. He wrote a heartless letter of separation. After that, James never heard back from Elisa. He underwent several surgeries. James was slowly able to start walking. The case of the killer of the perverted man. Because they found the videotape. The jury also found that James acted in self-defense. They didn't convict James in the end. He was finally freed. After this incident, James' father began to take his time with James more seriously. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I think we should do more activities together. Okay. On this day, the father and son had arranged to go to the gym together. Considering that James had an injury on his leg, they tried bowling. But what they didn't expect was... James's father had a heart attack. He just left James so easily. From that day onwards, James never had the courage to return to his home. He lived in a car with his father's ashes in his arms. Then he lived in the car for several months. Until one day he received a package. James opened the box. Inside was a bullet engraved with his name. But it was the bullet that gave James his life back. Now he wants to know if Eliza is safe. It was also a chance for him to see Eliza again. He found the fast food restaurant where Eliza worked, even sitting in the car. Looking at Eliza from a distance, he could feel Elisa's scent in the air. Then James closed the car door and walked to the restaurant. He had a lot to say to Elisa. He even wanted to confess his love to Eliza right now, but he realized he was too late. Is there anything worse than getting a breakup letter from your boyfriend? After receiving James' breakup letter, Alyssa never contacted James again, and then her mother broke up with her stepfather. They had to come to her aunt's house. They lived here for over a year. Meanwhile, Alyssa also stayed to work at her aunt's fast food restaurant. Here she met Todd. During the conversation they started to have some good feelings. Then they settled into a relationship. They also decided to be honest with each other. Now, Alyssa thinks that Todd is a good man to be entrusted with. Eliza decided to marry him, but the day before the wedding, Something strange happened. She received a bullet with her name on it. But Eliza thought it was a prank. She didn't care. She just threw the bullet away. But when Eliza returned to the restaurant later, she looked at the car in front of the door and started to feel strange. It seemed like she was being followed. By the end of the night, Elisa finally couldn't help herself. She knew there was something wrong with the car. She wanted to see who was in the car. The person saw Elisa coming. The car suddenly started and tried to leave. But the car crashed into a mound of dirt. Alicia immediately went up and opened the door. The man was James. It. Oh my god. Turns out that after James found out Alicia was getting married, he had been hiding nearby and watching Alicia. He wanted to keep her safe, but now he was found out by Alicia. J hey. For fuck's sake. James gave his reasons. The threatening bullet made him feel like he had a hand in this. He was afraid that Elisa was in danger. But it's clear that's not what Eliza wants to hear. Then, because James' RV was wrecked, Alicia lets him stay in the cabin next to the fast food restaurant. Eliza tells James he shouldn't be here, because she's getting married tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your dad. I should leave you. Try to remember the good times Warm days filled with sunshine And just a little bit of rain My girlfriend is getting married, but the groom is not me. Alicia rides to the wedding in a stretch limo. Today she's going to be someone else's bride. Now James is taking his father's ashes with him. He's about to start living alone in an RV again. But just then, Eliza appeared out of nowhere. Looks like she ran away from the wedding. She asks James to take her away from here. Hey. Let's get out of here. Okay. They went to a restaurant. And that's when, James finally apologizes to Eliza for the letter. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. 
It was ages ago. I can't even remember what it said. Dear Alyssa, I don't want to see you again, ever. Because of you, I killed someone. I can't ever take that back and it's made me hate you. So whatever you feel about me, you should know that I don't feel it in return. Please leave me alone. Sincerely, James. Liza was able to recite the entire breakup letter. She seems to have been very concerned about it, but James still couldn't tell her. Elisa's mother had asked him to write the letter. Eliza was already angry. She wanted to go back now. But well, now I want to go back. Why? Because I am married. What? You did it. I do. Yes! But their car had been towed for a parking violation. Then James thought of his dad still in the car. He was devastated. <laughs> Look, I know it was your home or whatever, but you don't need to cry about it. It's just been towed. What's wrong with you? It's my dad. Oh, yeah. Then they went to the parking lot to try to redeem the car. But the janitor wanted $400. They had to find another way. They cut through the fence and sneaked into the parking lot. Then they got into the car when the janitor wasn't looking. They were now ready to break down the gate. What the fuck, James? I didn't want to make too much noise. Hey! Oh, what? Not to disturb him? Yeah, nice one. James stepped on the gas. Finally. Listen to your car crash through the gate. It was a moment when the two of them went back in time. On the road, they suddenly came across a woman who was waving to stop the car. They planned to take her for a ride. But to their surprise, this woman used a knife to quietly puncture the tires of their car before getting into the car. What was her purpose? After getting into the car, the woman said very little. All they knew was that her name was Bonnie. The car broke down. What was that? Bonnie got out of the car first and took the opportunity to pull out the knife. They didn't notice. Alicia saw a motel just up the road. So the three of them pushed the car there. The boss here helped call for help. But the rescue truck can only come tomorrow. Now the three people can only stay here for one night. Then Bonnie paid the bill for them. She even said she appreciated the ride they gave her. But I could tell she wasn't a nice person.